This video will contain spoilers for Persona 5 Royal. If you have not played the game in its entirety and do not want spoilers, please check out some of my other videos. Thanks in advance. Hey guys, it's Andrew, the Murphination, and I think it's safe to say that my musical analysis of Gentle Madman has become one of my most popular videos on my channel, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that love and support. I've actually had quite a few people reach out to me, asking me to analyze the other pieces of Takato Margi, so let's kick things off by analyzing the piece Out of Kindness, which plays during the last portion of his Secret Palace. Also, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe for more content. Let's get this video to 50 likes. If we do that, then I will begin to work on the final Dr. Maruki piece, The Ideal and the Real. So let's review some things going on in the secret ending of the game. If you were able to max up the Counselor Confidant with Dr. Takato Maruki, the Faith Confidant with Kasumi Yoshizawa, and the Justice Confidant with Goro Akechi, you unlock the ability to explore a laboratory palace after defeating Yaldabaoth. Maruki's motivations to create a world without pain and suffering come from his broken-off relationship and engagement with Rumi, a woman suffering from mental trauma because her parents were murdered. After discovering that he has the power to change people's cognitions, he ends up using his power on your newest member of the Phantom Thieves, Kasumi Yoshizawa, who actually turns out to be her sister, Sumire, guilt-ridden over the death of her sister. You as the player don't even realize that you've been under the influence of his powers this whole time, which explains why Akechi returns as a member of the Phantom Thieves as well. After suffering from so much, he wants to be able to help people so that they can live life with nothing but happiness and joy. He wants to create a world free of pain. Now, I've already talked about the main piece that plays in this palace, Gentle Madman, but towards the end of the palace, you come across this rapture-esque garden where people are literally floating away overjoyed with the help that they were provided. It's in this location that the piece Out of Kindness begins to play. Unfortunately though, there really isn't enough in this piece to give it a full in-depth analysis. So I'll go over what I can, but I'll explain later why there really isn't a lot here. Starting off the piece, in the right hand of the piano, we have this 16th note riff playing the notes G, a, B flat, and F. Now when played with these rhythms, it really does help add to the overall urgency of the situation. Going through the first part of the palace, you really don't have an idea of what Maruki is capable of. But as you head deeper and deeper inside, you discover a few videotapes of Maruki's memories. These show Maruki spending time with his bedridden girlfriend, Rumi, after learning he has the power to alter people's cognitions. You see Maruki's first session with Sumire, when he uses his powers on her to make her believe that she is living as Kasumi. You see Maruki getting drunk after discussing with his close friend how his research on cognitive science was being defunded. And finally, you're also shown Maruki awakening to his persona as a Thoth, when Mementos merges with Shibuya. So, the more you learn about him, the more you realize that his power might be far greater than you had previously imagined. Now this little melodic idea actually plays throughout the entire piece until the very end, which makes this an ostinato, or a small melodic idea that's constantly repeated throughout the piece. I actually discussed this a little bit further in my video analyzing the moon theme from DuckTales, so give it a watch after this, link in the iCard up above and the description down below. This sense of urgency even grows further once we get to measure 15. Here, the left hand of the piano changes up its rhythms from whole notes to eighth notes. One way that I like to describe the difference in note durations is that we're progressively doubling in speed rhythmically. So when we change from whole notes to eighth notes at measure 15, while the tempo isn't getting any faster, rhythmically the left hand is going eight times faster than what we were originally playing. So there's a lot more forward momentum here. It gives off this feeling that something dangerous is approaching very quickly.
That sudden change in the left hand rhythm, along with the synth solo beginning at measure 7, really helps drive the intensity that's building towards that final battle against Marugi and his personas, Azathoth and Adam Kadmon. I think one thing that's very fitting here, though, is that it's actually synonymous with the irony of the first piece's title, Gentle Madman. In that piece, it's never really too intense. By being played towards the middle of the piano, the color of the piece is a lot softer and cooler. Dare I say it, it's more gentle, so to speak. It never really provides a kind of sound that justifies the madman part of this title. However, the melody of Out of Kindness, being played in a higher register, helps provide this eerie feeling, as you start to realize that Maruki isn't just trying to help people out of kindness. He's doing this because he can't move on from what he's gone through. Sure, he may have good intentions, but when you reach this rapturesque part of his palace and even the room where his treasure is located, you really start to piece the facts together that Maruki sees himself as a messiah. He sees himself as a god with the ability to do as he pleases. Now, Britannica.com reads that the rapture is the belief that both living and dead will ascend to heaven to meet Jesus Christ at the second coming, which Britannica.com also states as the future return of Christ in glory when it is understood that he will set up his kingdom, judge his enemies, and reward the faithful, living, and dead. The room where his treasure is, is also based on the Garden of Eden. And according to the Ancient History Encyclopedia, the Garden of Eden is this biblical, earthly paradise created by God to be inhabited by his first human creation, Adam and Eve. The Garden is a luxuriant place, which is why it's sometimes called the Garden of God. Adam was the first man created by God in his image, but after God saw the loneliness of Adam, he created Eve, the first woman, out of Adam's ribs as his helper. Now, in case that didn't really sell you on Maruki seeing himself as a messiah or God, after you defeat his first form, where he fights with Azathoth, he fuses with his treasure in order to transform Azathoth into Adam Kadmon, who is known as the Primordial Man, according to the Jewish Virtual Library. Primordial, meaning existing at, or from the beginning of time. Kabbalah Online reads that Adam means in the likeness of, from the Hebrew word doma. I think I'm saying that right? <laughs> Kadmon means primordial or primary, from the Hebrew root kadam. So Adam Kadmon is the primordial world, which is in the likeness of the infinite light which preceded it, and which was concealed in the process of creation. And that's pretty much all that I can find in regards to this analysis. As much as I like this song, I can't deny that it's a bit disappointing compared to Gentle Madman. So I'm going to discuss four reasons why Out of Kindness falls short of being the superior palace theme. Firstly is the lack of a choir. This is one of the things that I actually really enjoyed most about Gentle Madman, because it really allowed me to dive further into my analysis of the piece thanks to that perfect fourth that's sung there. Even if the choir wasn't singing a perfect fourth interval, watch my initial video if you want more info on intervals, the inclusion of a choir really added to that overall ominous feel of the piece, and it symbolized the cult-like following that Maruki was developing for himself because of his assistance with helping people feel better. Without that choir, the piece just sounds empty and bland. Secondly is the lack of syncopation in this piece. Granted, there is a little bit of syncopation in that synth solo, but it's really not as frequent as Gentle Madman. The use of syncopation in music allows notes on the offbeat to get more emphasis, and when there are two instruments, each with their own forms of syncopation, they work in tandem to make the piece more interesting altogether. More on that later, though.
with the right hand of the piano playing the same 16th note pattern continuously, and the synth solo playing a simpler syncopated phrase, Out of Kindness doesn't provide anything attention-grabbing to me, personally, as a listener. Thirdly is the lack of contrapuntal motion. By using different types of motion such as similar, contrary, and oblique motions, Gentle Madman is easily able to establish independence in each of the important parts of this piece, especially once the synth solo comes in and the motions created work together and against the piano line once it becomes the accompaniment. <laughs> Notice how there's a clear relationship between each instrument. Out of Kindness just simply doesn't provide those relationships. Since the right hand of the piano is only playing four different notes, all within the same hand position on the piano, there really isn't a lot going on here. The synth solo provides a wider range, but it doesn't work well because of how limited the piano is in note range here. Finally, I think what makes this piece so lackluster compared to its predecessor is the lack of a different musical section. I discussed this in my DuckTales video, but a song or piece should really try to have multiple segments with different melodic ideas in order to maintain a listener's interest. If we look at Gentle Madman, we have our main melodic idea, a G minor scale with a few steps upward and downward. We're going to call this our A section. Once we get to measure 9, we change to a completely different melodic idea than we were just playing at the beginning. So we're going to call this our B section. Once we get to measure 17 though, we return to that original melodic idea with a slight variation by introducing the synth solo. Since it's similar to the initial idea, we're going to call this the A prime section. There is a bit of a different musical idea at the end, but I don't really consider that to be a different melodic idea since it's the end of the entire piece. So we would say that Gentle Madman goes in an A, B, A format. If we look at the format of Out of Kindness, we have the original melodic idea playing throughout the entire piece. At measure 7, we bring in the synth solo, but we're still playing the same idea in the piano, so that would make this an A prime section. At measure 15, the rhythm of the right hand of the piano changes, which would make this just an A double prime section. So our format for this piece would be A, a prime, A double prime. By listening to the same melodic themes over and over again with only slight variations, the piece just gets increasingly boring the more you listen to it. Now just because I'm being nitpicky with this piece doesn't mean that it's bad. Far from it. For what it provides, I like it a lot. And if it's one of your favorite pieces in this game, absolutely more power to you. But to me, it's just lacking in so many areas that it prevents it from being great in my eyes. With that being said though, if you did enjoy today's video, definitely be sure to hit that like button and comment on a future video idea that you'd like to see. Like I said before, once we get to 50 likes on this video, I'm going to work on a video where we analyze the main theme of Maruki's social link, the ideal and the real. I am actually also streaming my by ear notation of that on twitch.tv. Actually, I might, I might not be, <laughs> I'm not too sure. And of course, Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more music education and gameplay content. I've been your host, Andrew the Murphination, and I will see you all in the next one.